Good morning. This is Angela Toma with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome to my little studio. Today we're doing the Journal to Inspire project and this is prompt eight. So decorate at least two or more pages in your journal using at least two of the following. Remember, stretch your limits. Gesso, watercolor, ink, acrylic paint, markers, colored pencils, stamps, pencils, sprays, and pens. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I do know that I have out my distressing inks and my oxide inks, and I'm going to try and do a little stuff with that. <laughs> but absolutely be on there? No idea. None. Not a, not at all. Oh, that's my lamp. Sorry. It's making noise. I'm trying to reposition them for better light. Better light, less shadows. Okay, so I have taken my book. And you can see this is last week's project. And I have just so the pages here and again here. They're not super dry, but they sure feel good. I love the fill of gesso. So let's start our timer here. I hit it up to 65 minutes. Um, not intentionally. <laughs> it's just me and these things don't seem to see eye to eye. So yeah, so it goes. Uh, we'll get done as soon as we can. So these are just file folders and I've cut them in half, cut one in half, just to kind of block my page. If I decide to do some stamping, I have this that I can put under so that I can stamp down on it. So I better get that out. I don't know where to put it because I'm surrounded by ink. <laughs> so um, I think what I will do maybe is Cut this side down so that I can see my glass mat. And my glass mat is here today to provide me with the place to blend up my inks. Just going to cut this down a bit just to make it easier. See how much easier that is? So give myself a little mark. That's long enough. I don't need to take that one off. It's just going to help me to not have a bunch of junk in my way. There we go. And if I need to use this as an added extra, I can just tuck it in there and paint off the edge. Works out perfect. Okay. Inks. Okay. So something tells me I need to start with some blues. I have the blues. Oh, no I don't. I just thought I did. Okay, I'm not getting any reflection here, am I, from that lamp? Uh-oh, I need my spray bottle. Oh, there it is. I got it. Never mind. Uh, this is Blueprint. Some of these are oxides and some of them are ink. Ooh, speckled egg. I love speckled egg. It's very gentle. And up here is Yes, you have it. It's a peacock. Right there, peacock feathers. Okay, now, do I want to spray these? Just a little bit, I suppose so. I guess I will. I guess I will. Now, I really am not sure what I want to do here. 
but I think I'll need a little line across here. I do have this little piece here that, oh, uh, you know, it's just going to get kind of mushed in because it's, it's weird. It's just the way the book went when I was the way it went. So um, when I paint I get very quiet. Sorry. Um, it's because my brain totally shuts off and I just am thinking about what I'm doing. Um, Paint and I love each other very much. I've never really painted with inks like this before. So this is a first. And it's going on this gesso, so it's um, getting a little bit, uh, it's separating a little bit. And I am rinsing in my, oh, I forgot I had speckled egg down there. This is Tattered Rose. Now you say, what is she going to do with tattered rose? Well, we're going to add it. Take some of that speckled egg to it, too. doesn't add much in there. Okay. Whoops. Set that over there. What is this? Oh, that's an embossing ink. I thought it was gray. No wonder I wasn't getting anywhere with my inks the other day. 
Let's get rid of that. We don't really want to emboss our page. Um, okay, so I don't have gray. I'm going to work myself out of a mat here. It's okay, I can always put the mat off to the side. This is Gathered Twigs. It's a, once again an oxide ink. Okay, so I'm going to move my mat over so I can bring this over here. Better put some ground espresso with it. Just to give it a little bit more color. Because this is sand and we know that sand is got a couple of colors in it, like a little bit of pink sometimes. I know you're saying pink in the sand. Well, you bet. If you look at it, it's beigey and pink. And let's see. the water. I need to kind of bring it up on the beach a little bit. You know how it comes in and then it kind of reflects and goes away. But yet you can see the sand under it. flows into each other. So I have this crazy habit when I'm Concentrating is my foot taps. And so it's tapping right now. Thank God you can't, thank goodness you can't hear it. <laughs> but it's old habits die hard. Okay. Something needs to happen here. It's not happening right. I can tell you that. I think it's because there's gesso on the page. So let's try that a little bit. It's 
it's hard to get a sand color just using browns like this. Gonna use my finger here. The gesso is kind of fighting it a little bit. Um, it's um, kind of put a resist into it, which I I kind of thought it might do, and that's why I didn't grab out my. Um, Neo crayons just yet because I was thinking that the wax in them would make the uh, the inks resist. Um, I need a different kind of brush to do sand. of an odd angle to look at the ocean, isn't it? Okay, so this girl is going to grab um, some Versa ink, some stays on, and I am going to put it down, and I'm going to give it a little spray, not much, Just kind of want to see if it um, makes a difference. Wrong color might make a difference, but if it's the wrong color, it will not work. Okay, let's try this one. Now I got my brush all wet. into that one. Put this one in its place. That does help a little bit. I'm going to stop there and let that dry for just a little bit. Now, we need some some pretty sky. Now, to me, sky always has purple in it. So I need to find my purples. Maybe I didn't get purple out today. Those are blues. That's the blues. The yellows. Um, well, we'll have to get some. Um, so I don't want my sky be the same color as my ocean, really. It 
and uh, I'm not a great painter so don't expect much <laughs> And I'm painting at kind of a weirdish angle here too. That does not help. need that purple. Hang on a second. I need purple. I need some seedless preserves. Just going to put that right over there. And we need some uh, wilted violet. Now, this is an oxide ink here. And in the seedless preserves with the distressing ink, you can see it's a different color. So just know that when you go from one to the other, they are different. They are not the same. And you could not see that, right? Here we are. Oxide ink, distressing ink, same color. And so you get, they are different because you can see here that this one is kind of pinky and the other one's kind of purpley. Okay. My clouds. Well, I put them in too soon anyway. Okay. Back to cloud formation. Tattered rose. And I was using this one. So they're not great clouds for this kind of painting, but what you have to do is kind of subtract some ink in there, some color, and, and then it starts showing up kind of as a cloud. And 
then we'll throw a little bit of whoops had some different color on my finger but that would be okay because that would indicate that a storm is coming in But there's just one lonely little storm cloud there. It's very hard to paint on this surface. <laughs> Whew. Very hard. And a little bit of... Let's see what the speckled egg does. It definitely does not like to paint on the uh, just so. So, makes a big difference. Okay, now we need that's uh, orange, berry, barn door. Going over here, I'm stamping on some barn door, and it is a distress ink. And then with the barn door, I am going to put in some fossilized amber. Right there. And some dried marigold. Right there. And maybe some mustard seed. Oh, look at that. You'd think that I was making something here, huh? And I haven't tried the scattered straw yet, but I bet that would have worked down in here. Okay, so I'm going to Pretend that we might be having a, a sunset because it's Pacific Ocean, we get a sunset over the water. The barn door with the yellow definitely looks red or orange. See a little bit on top of these waves. center there.
Okay, now we need the barn door. Um, was okay, but now I'm going to move it over to um, fired brick, which is a little bit redder and might kick back some of the orange. No, it's still going to turn super orange with the... with the yellow on there. This is a little bit of marigold. Oops, sorry. Got a little bit of something else now too. Okay, now I set out a bit and I need some more blues. I need the blues. Come sing them with me. turn green. Let's see if we can take out some of that yellow because we only want just a hue, not a another sun. Um, we need just some water. No colors. Because we just want a little bit of color, not not a, another sun back there. Who am I to talk? I mean, we could end up with another sun at some point. I mean, look look at look at what happened in twenty twenty, <laughs> and it's still happening in twenty twenty one. Okay. I need a different color here. I'm going to go ahead and put down a little bit more of the blueprint and a little tiny bit of water because I want more color than I think that'll do it. Sorry if my head is in the way. Can you even see what I'm up to? I am trying to get rid of some of my weird design with my son. So, let's come back to the clouds. Because the clouds will help us to blend some of that in. above there.
so you can kind of see that the sun is um, totally getting absorbed into the background. It's just the gesso is just eating up the ink. Um, normally it kind of blocks all that, but wow, what a what a thing! Didn't know it did that. a screwed up background there. I'm going to go ahead and just put a little yellow in the sky. I mean, obviously we have a sunset happening there. And so we might have some yellow sky. Some more yellowy clouds. It won't be sky necessarily, it will be reflections from the clouds and stuff like that. Nope, that's not it. So I don't really know what to do about this. Um, that is definitely not what I was hoping for over here. Um, definitely not with yellow in it. Well, you know, it's ink. What are you going to do? Try and make it behave differently? I don't think so. Okay. So, there's my kind of page. It's kind of a page. So there's my first one. And I am probably out of time. I didn't even set my timer. <laughs> oh, you guys, what are you going to do with me? I can't seem to set my timer. So, there's my page. And I will call that good for today. Um, it needs more. What does it need? Well, hang on a second. Hold your ponies. Now, let's see. Um, let's see here. Ah, this is what I'm looking for right here. She cheats. She pulls out a sand castle and applies it to the sand. See here? We have a sand castle. Woohoo! Oh, just dropped my glue into my paint. Okay. So, it's going to go in the water over there. So, how's that? A sand castle. You say we need another one? Okay. Here's the other one. Should it be like right next door? Should it be adjoining it? It may be like this. Yeah. 
I don't know. I do not know. Uh, this was not part of the prompt. <laughs> so I hope it's okay. I think we'll put it maybe a little bit in front of that one. And let's see. that one. I should have put it behind. That would have been perfect. Not going to use that one. There. We'll just put a sand castle on our beach. Oh, I know what's missing. I know. Oh my goodness, Ange. What were you thinking, girl? Oh, I need a special brush. This one. These birds are really gray on our beach. They are not this color. Um, maybe we can outline them a little bit with some blue and get our kind of gray. Oh, bad brush. Naughty brush. <laughs> brush has an extra little hair on it. This is a very simplistic picture, you guys. Okay, I need to add just a little blue to it to get it to be kind of gray. My brush hairs are splitting. Am I off camera? So sorry. What did it need? Seagulls. I forgot to put them. But my the paint really runs down the gesso lines here. So getting a lot of bleeding of the see we need one far far away far far away way out here I can't even see me so far away And 
for the soul sand castle. It's got a shadow here or something from the sun coming in. We need that shadow to be a little darker. Okay, well, I'm going to call that good, and uh, that's my take on today's prompt. Um, I'm trying to look up there and see it. My new glasses are kind of a pain. Um, castles, water, a little bit of beach some seagulls and a sunset that's got kind of an odd shape there it does go down into the water it's just that for some reason it looks really dark right there let's fix that a little bit So this is just really simplistic, guys, and I'm by no means a, an artist, so <laughs> be kind. <laughs> Pretty please be kind. Now we do know that our oceans are not wavy on the horizon line. They are actually quite flat back there. You see that? Sorry, I keep, keep coming back to it. I do have a hard time when stopping paint when I'm painting. So I'm going to add a little more yellow to bring it close to that blue without turning everything green. <gasps> green! We forgot green. Oh my gosh. See? There's always more when you're painting. There is a little bit of green. And where? Well, in Oregon. I don't know where it is in your state, but along the Pacific Ocean, we've got a lot of this grass growing.
they, um, I think they plant it to, um, um, prevent the water from, um, taking over too much land. But they're, they're kind of tufts of grass. They're not, I mean, they're really actually very long. Like that. So they're um, kind of annoying because I don't think that they're very soft. But they also have a little bit of yellow in them. Oh, that yellow has a lot of water in it. So we do have that along our, um, we have a lot of beach here. Um, I don't know what, I, you know, I don't think I've ever seen the eastern ocean other than in pictures. Um, sometimes we'll have these kind of rock walls and they are very, um, sometimes like mossy because there's so much water coming off of the hills and stuff. Um, and then we have these really pretty kind of a coastal tree that is quite nice. Okay, well, there's that. So now we need to move on to this page really quick because I got a lot of paint down here. So what do we do? Um, do we just go this way and dip it? What do we do? What I need is a paper towel. What I do with my paper towels? Oh, right there. Okay, so I'm going to squirt this because I'm I need to clean it off. This does not work. needed to uh, dip my envelopes in it. Uh, it'll give us some background for our next take on the project to inspire. So what color is this one? Okay, so where's your where is your lid? What did you do with your lid? You what? You put it where? Oh my goodness. You can't lose your lid. We need your lid. You can't live here without a lid. Ah, there it is. Thank you. That's much better. Ooh, pretty.
Very pretty. Isn't that? That's kind of marbly right there. experimenting with distress and oxides. <laughs> Always wanted to do that. Oh, very pretty. What else could we add to it? I'm excited. <laughs> did we already do Salty Ocean? Or did we do Blueprint? I think we did Salty Ocean. And we did that one. Little speckled egg. What else? Oh, I get excited. Um, oh, oh, I want to put in the wild honey, but I know what's going to happen. It's going to go green. Whoops, I hit my ocean over there. Let's just see. It might be beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Kind of like paint pouring, but it's ink pouring. did kind of work. Have I used the peacock feathers? Can you not love that? I mean, look at it. Look at it move. It's like, ah, oh, wow, cool. Very cool. So I think with the inks that uh, maybe not putting them on a full layer of gesso. The reason I did it was because I had to cover these pages. Remember, these are the naughty pages that are quite naughty. And so I, I just couldn't show them to you anymore. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if you ever saw them. Um, yeah, yeah, they were pretty naughty. <laughs> My whole book is probably going to come apart, is what's going to happen. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? We're going to have to use that in something. Very pretty. Try another color before I let you go. I don't know what, but 
I want to try the fired brick over here. What's going to happen to it, do you think? Get some deep dark purples in it, you think? Okay, here we go. Okay, got a hair in there. Um, I think go with a little bit of purple through here. Because I don't know what they're going to do for the next prompt. She did say today that we'll be adding to some of our pages. So this would be a good page to add to. Oh, I need to go back. Um, I preferred the picked raspberry. Okay, so what if, what if we took our picked raspberry and we did this and we had a little bit of water. And we stamped in some circles. Cool for us. Very nice. So, what if we use something a little smaller? And we used maybe, let's use this. This is scattered straw. Oh. Pretty. It's very light. Okay, let's clean that one off. What if, what if we had um, what if we used a thread? I don't want to hurt my thread. It's too expensive to hurt. So we have to be careful of that. Um, I love the raspberry because it looks like, um, Oh, ready? What's going to happen? Oh, nothing much. Just a blog, a blodge, a blodge of color. But let's try this. Hey, what are you doing? You can't have my pens. She's in my pen can. Okay. She's telling me that my hour's up. But look at that. If you do your towel in it, it leaves a mark. Cool. Okay. We're going to call it good for today. 
Uh, thank you for joining me in this extra long play date. Um, definitely playing today. Um, that's how I utilized my uh, prompt eight. And I hope that you guys have had fun with your prompt eight. Thank you, Libby. Um, I know I sure did. And it let me play with my inks and see what, what the difference was between um, distressing inks and oxide inks. Very fun. You get different colors and uh, just different, um, different, it dries differently from its um, counterpart that looks like it but isn't. That's named the same but is a, a, a twin, a different twin. So, okay, well, we just had fun today and um, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys had fun and I hope I was on camera enough. I'm sorry if I wasn't. Um, Okay, it's the way it goes. So I hope you enjoyed this. Here's my painting page. And here's my ocean page. Yep. Sunset on the Pacific Ocean. Woohoo! I need to go back to the beach. Okay, I gotta go. See y'all later. Hugs and... Love you guys. Bye-bye.